Well, we know that our overall self-concept is made up of the average of our self-concepts in all the areas of our life that we consider important, including our overall self-concept as a salesperson. We know also that the self-concept is subjective, is that the ideas or thoughts that you have about yourself, especially the self-limiting ideas or beliefs, do not exist in reality. Many of us think, well, I don't have the ability to do this, or I'm not very good at that, or I'm not particularly skilled at, at this or that. In reality, these are not true. But if we believe they're true, they're true for us. Some people say, well, I'm terrible at closing. As long as you say you're terrible at closing and believe that you're terrible at closing, I can guarantee you one thing. You're going to be terrible at closing sales. Some people say, I'm terrible on the telephone. I'm very uneasy. I hate to call people up to make appointments. As long as you think that and believe that, every time you pick up the phone, you're going to stumble over your words and you're going to make mistakes and you're going to perform in a poor manner. But almost invariably, if we have self-limiting beliefs, they're based on erroneous information. Sometimes we will take in an experience. We'll have a couple of experiences. We'll assume we're no good at that. And from then on, whenever we are confronted with that, we'll assume we're no good. Our self-concept is low and it will perform poorly. We also know that the core of self-concept is self-esteem. Right at the center of our psychological makeup is our self-esteem. And the best definition of self-esteem is how much you like yourself. How much you like yourself. How much you like yourself is the key determinant of your performance and your effectiveness in everything that you do. How much you like yourself determines how well you dress, it determines how well you drive, it determines how well you sell, and it determines every single aspect of selling. A person who really likes themselves has a high positive self-concept and performs well in that particular area. A person who doesn't like themselves or who feels badly about themselves in a particular area performs poorly in that area. How much you like yourself is the key determinant of your success in sales, the key determinant of your income, and if you take this sales effectiveness and you just call it life effectiveness, how much you like yourself determines your effectiveness and your success in life. It's the most critical single barometer or indicator of your success, achievement, enjoyment, satisfaction in life is how much you like yourself. How much you like yourself overall and how much you like yourself in each individual area. Earl Nightingale said, you become what you think about. We know that if we repeat over and over to ourselves, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself. I like myself. If we repeat that over and over to ourselves, we find that every single time we say, I like myself, our self-concept goes up. Every time our self-concept goes up, our ability to perform in every area of our life goes up simultaneously. When you say, I like myself, I like myself, it's like putting a flame to the ball of the mercury thermometer of your self-concept. The more you like yourself, the better you perform in everything that you do. Let me ask you a simple question to prove that this is true. When is the best time to make a sale? Old saying. Always, it's right after making a sale. Isn't that true? Why is that? from what we just said. Of course, because we like ourselves more as a salesperson immediately after having made a sale than any other time. And because we like ourselves more, we are more effective at selling at that moment than any other time. We find that if you have a difficult customer to call on, and you've been calling on them several times and going nowhere, when you close a sale somewhere else, immediately get in your car and drive across town and walk in on that customer and try to sell them again. You will be more effective, you will be more persuasive, you will be more confident at that moment than at any other time. And it will not be the customer that has changed, not the product or service, not the price, not the market, not the competition. The only thing that has changed is you. One of the things that we know in sales is that success breeds success. The more you sell, the better you become at selling because your self-concept goes higher and higher and higher. Finally, you reach the point where you know that nothing can stop you. You know that absolutely nothing can stop you. If you do it long enough and hard enough until you begin to enjoy success experiences, your self-concept gets up to the point where you know that you can make your living in sales wherever you go. Isn't that true? And we know when we're flying, when we're feeling really great about ourselves, when we really like ourselves, we know that we can do well at anything we put our hand to. Not only that, when we're selling well, our interpersonal relationships go well, we need less sleep, we have more energy, we have more enthusiasm, we feel more positive about ourselves. Isn't that true? So the key is, before every sales call, stop and take a couple of seconds and say to yourself, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself. It's like pumping yourself up, like a pumping up a tire. Psych yourself up, say, I like myself, I like myself. This is going to be a great call, it's going to be a great call, it's going to be a great day. Talk to yourself because whatever you say to yourself with feeling, Whatever you say to yourself with emotion is accepted by the subconscious as an instruction and the subconscious will give you the words and actions and feelings consistent 
with what you've said to yourself. So when you say, I like myself, this is going to be a great call, I am a great salesman. When you say things like that to yourself, the subconscious accepts it as a fact and gives you the words, the feelings, the gestures, the body language consistent with a person who is excellent at what they do. And it gives you more confidence, it makes you more relaxed, and of course it has a very strong impact on the person that you're talking to.